Hi, I'm Peter Carter, Director of the Climate Emergency Institute. You may be aware that in just a few days, I'm recording this on the 17th of September 2023, that there is a, a big summit UN conference in New York City. First of all, there's a, another document that was published by the WMO, the World Meteorological Organization, on the 14th of September, uh, specifically on climate change and the Sustainable Development Goals, the so-called SDGs. This report is, in fact, a convenient list and explanation of the most important impacts to humanity, human communities, of global climate change. That says between 1990 and 2021, there were nearly 12,000 reported disasters from weather, climate, and water extremes, causing over 2 million deaths and $4.3 trillion in economic losses. Over 90% of these reported deaths and 60% of economic losses occurred in developing economies, obviously undermining sustainable development. So far, there has been very limited progress in reducing the emissions gap for 2030. That's in line with the Paris Agreement. The national um, emissions targets are highly deficient with respect to the Paris Agreement. The report says that fossil fuel CO2 emissions increased 1% globally in 2022 uh, compared to 2021, and preliminary estimates from January to June 2023 show show that they're still increasing a further 0.3% rise. There is a 98% chance that one of the next five years will be the warmest on record. The IPCC projects that the long-term warming may reach the Paris Agreement level of 1.5 degrees C in the early 2030s. Current mitigation policies will lead to an estimated global warming of around 2.8 degrees C over this century compared to pre-industrial. Actually, the IPCC AR6 put this at 3.2 degrees C. And this report then makes this very important statement, which, which is an IPCC statement, that immediate and unprecedented reductions in greenhouse gas emissions are needed. And that's an imperative. They're needed for our future survival. So Sustainable Development Goal 1 is no poverty. The effects of climate change are hitting many of the world's poorest people first and hardest, and they're making poverty worse. Extreme weather events, natural hazards, and food and water shortages are threatening the lives of people living in poverty, and the poorer people are, the harder it is to recover from failed harvests, destroyed homes, and health crises. It has been estimated that by 2030, climate change could push over another 120 million people into poverty, 120 million more people. SDG 2.0 hunger research shows that 735 million people currently face hunger, compared to 613 million in 2019. It is estimated that nearly 670 million more people may face hunger in 2030, in part due to more extreme weather events that disrupt each pillar of food security. SDG 3 good health and well-being. Climate change and extreme events like heat waves are projected to significantly increase health and premature deaths, according to the IPCC. Rapid urbanization puts more people at risk. For example, air pollution is a major urban threat to health and is associated with nearly 7 million premature deaths annually. And of course, the vast majority of that air pollution is from burning fossil fuels. And the worst of the fossil fuels with respect to toxic air pollution, of course, is coal. The integration of health and epiological data with climate and weather information can inform policy on climate-sensitive communicable diseases like malaria and dengue. SDG 6, clean water and sanitation. Climate change is exacerbating water-related hazards like floods and drought. Changes in precipitation patterns, evaporation rate, and water storage pose significant challenges for managing water resources sustainably. 
More than 60% of countries have inadequate and declining hydrological monitoring capabilities. SDG 7. Affordable and clean energy. Sustainable energy for all. Extreme weather events and climate change threaten the achievement of uh, this SDG by changing energy supply capability and demand. Making the clean energy transition more unpredictable, SDG 7 is next. Sustainable cities and communities. Cities account for about 70% of global greenhouse gas emissions and are home to more than half of the global population. They are vulnerable to rising sea levels and storm surges, heat waves, extreme precipitation and flooding, drought and water scarcity and air pollution. SDG 13, Climate Action. Climate change has caused widespread and rapid changes in the atmosphere, ocean, cryosphere, that's the snow and ice parts of the planet, and the biosphere, which threaten to reverse progress towards achieving all the SDGs. SDG 14, Life Below Water. Climate-related impacts by human activity are threatening our oceans, affecting marine ecosystems, and the communities that rely on them for food and livelihood security. Climate-related ocean science, such as ocean acidification, observations, enhances our understanding of climate impacts on the ocean and contributes to strategies for sustainably managing and protecting marine ecosystems. But of course, that can only happen if there is the already mentioned immediate and rapid decline in global emissions.